Hello, 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 and good evening, good morning, bon noir, depends on where you're from and what time of day it is. My name is Karstein, this is Ashtal. I'm a game designer, and today I want to take you through one of my levels. It's a single player level made in the engine UDK. It's a, uh, it's a level that bases around uh, being a uh, human uh, super soldier. You're attacking an alien settlement that once was human and um, yeah the level wants you to give you the feeling of you know being alone against um, robots and uh, that is portrayed by you know you have this uh, human feeling about the entrance but the deeper you get the more alien it gets so to start off I wanna I wanna explain a little bit of what I've done to make UDK more single player friendly uh, right now I'm using the UT game mode uh, for reasons that has to do with Unreal scripting and stuff and uh, the first thing I had to do was to remove a lot of uh, deathmatch elements for example the ultra kill sound killing spree and also having uh, text po messages pop up that says player x killed player z you know so had to remove that in your real script and also since the theme is you're human against aliens I had to do something in Unreal script as well to change the basic the, uh, the skeletal mesh for uh, the player model as they are similar to the AI which you see in front of me here so what I did first was change the basic one but then they changed for the AI as well so we still had the same model so I had to find some custom kismet and uh, now it works so yeah it's really important to do that because the player sees the model when it dies and stuff like that it also makes makes very different sounds so when talking about AI um, I talked about having deathmatch mode which means that the AI I use is not using deathmatch AI and the reason for that is they will start to fight each other so what I've done is that I've made my own uh, AI logic in Kismet uh, with structures that make them continually search for a player with their aim and then start shooting and uh, some are scripted to move around and stuff like that so that was my way of you know getting around the AI deathmatch uh, controller so yeah all uh, all AI behavior is, uh, is scripted by me in Kismet and uh, yeah so let's jump right into it uh, the first thing you see is these two robots guarding the door here and these are like guards so the point is that they haven't seen the player yet and the player is like assaulting the base so you know the robots are unaware that he's coming so these bots are triggered to when they take damage they will start you know looking for something to shoot and they will trigger a sound saying incoming and also this area right here with the health bar and with the health pickup I mean and the and ammo is also have a trigger box so you know everywhere the player will jump from here the bots will trigger so yeah you can you can shoot him and then we'll start from So what you see here is that when every AI is dead in a room, 
uh, the door opens up and the door uses a very significant sound uh, distinct sound so that you know the player knows something has happened and you can see the movement of the door uh, I I position this uh, this area so that you always see see some motion in the door so you know where you're going and um, also a player might you know go back here to get some supplies and to restock on our ammo and stuff like that and then you know see this way it's like highlighted with light and everything and uh, I also added this road to sh have some logical explanation for how this used to be a human base you know have some way for the players oh sorry for the the humans to have gotten there before and yeah blocked it off here with a uh, with a fence so what I wanted to do was to cater to different player styles and uh, this one is for the more explorative type it's a uh, it's a bit of a secret and uh, secret entrance that leads to a whole other room than the one we just looked at and uh, this room you can only enter this way and the other room you can only enter that way so if you enter the other room you will never see this room because the door locks behind the player 